Hello and welcome back to LEGO City of the Cover. This is Bio Enchanted, and this is a place going to be short but sweet as we go and rescue Forrest Blackwell. So let's make our way over there. Luckily, he's only a single district away. We are in King's Court, he is in downtown. So let's head down there, shall we? Want to get up all these stairs? But there's something over here that I nearly forgot, so let's take care of this now. Get a nice beeline for these things to get these built. We're actually very close to finishing the train stations as well, which is quite nice. I quite like this little bit of the story because while not a lot really happens, it gives a good amount of characterization that I quite like. So let's just take the train to get to downtown because it's just a little bit faster. That's probably the reason I was glad to build it right now. Here we are. First of all, you may notice the things over there, but you may also notice that wall's completely white. So we need to get in here first. This area is a smorgasbord of uh, vending machines. This is basically a one-stop shop, which makes sense for a downtown shopping mall. It's basically where we go for any colour gun, or if you want dynamite, basically, if you can't remember where the dynamite and colour gun things are. This is the fastest way to just get whatever colour you need, because I can often I often forget like which colours are where in some of the districts, because some districts don't have as many uh, vending machines, at least not as easily placed. Like, even the green one in uh, Cherry Tree Hills is fairly well hidden. But now we can finally get up here. I quite like this sequence because of the design of these buildings. The way you kind of uh, navigate around them, it reminds me a lot of climbing the Agency Tower in Crackdown with the three towers and the constantly moving between them thing. But we'll see that as we actually approach the top of these buildings, so that we can finally find what's going on here. Hey! There's Blackwell. I'm being abducted against my will. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can. I mean, other than my abductors. We recognize one of those guys. We got his character token earlier. This guy here, actually. The guy with the big beard and the red shirt is Troublemaker Phil. At least that's what his character token's called. And he really is quite a troublemaker. Now we have these two to play with as well. Quite a bit all the enemy types have their own kind of name. It's a fairly cute kind of thing. So of course, it's like, what else are you going to call them uh, with character tokens? Thug A, Baddie B. It actually kind of reminds me a bit of old fighting games, like Streets of Rage kind of thing, where each enemy type had its own, like, class name. Like, if you were fighting a bunch of prostitutes, they'd only call Sandra, that kind of thing. It That's kind of unnecessary layering, honestly. <laughs> that one didn't need to be a paintable one as well. But it's kind of making sure you can't get up here before you're supposed to. It's kind of trying to save this for when the plot wants it to climb it. Because it's a fairly climactic climb. Bye! Bye bye. Yeah, those two aren't going to be having a very good time, are they? Here's the top of one of the buildings, finally. Again, I quite like the way you kind of maneuver around all these buildings as you're climbing, because it's pretty neat. And the music kind of adds a bit of epicness to it as well. This part's a little annoying because of how high up you are. Because if you fall off these, which is really easy to do, as you know from how annoying I am find these ceiling studs. 
Yeah, most likely, uh, like, I think what the game actually does is it places you back on that ledge and just loses you a few stones. Like, it treats it like if you died in a level, which is good because if you'd fallen all the way down, that would have sucked. But here we are, approaching the uh, ends of this section now. I quite like this large pole, it's pretty much just there to add a bit of, yeah, look how high we're getting now. I was like, okay, you can see the previous sections you've been running on before as well. That's pretty neat. Whoops. That could have gone poorly. You have to be very careful when uh, climbing up those stud surfaces because it's easy to jump off the edge and fall right off like an idiot. Whoa! Did you see how cool that was? Dave! Dave! Whoa! A look! An awning! If this was an action movie, someone would fall onto that. Whoa! <laughs> Ow, that really smarts. Could my day get any worse? <clears throat> That's cute. Merciful heavens above! Help at last! Arrest these men! Get him! There's quite a few of them. Let's take them down. Two of each. That's, That's interesting. Right. You show him what for. The criminals come by two, by two, who are, who are. That was a good bunch of twos. I quite like that bit of slang for us uses there as well. It's a cute way of making fun of the whole Lego thing. Considering British slang for a fist is a bunch of fives, and of course these guys have claw hands, so they only have two. Excellent, Queensbury rules. Yeah. Thank you, young man. I thought my fate was sealed. Now while I'm on duty, sir. They may have reinforcements, so we ought to leave here at once. My car should still be nearby. Sorry we're late, Chase. Not that it looks like you needed our help. Young man, I should feel a lot safer at the police station. Would you mind driving me? I'm still rather shaken. Go on. I'll call the chief and tell him you got Mr. Blackwell down safely. We'll stay here and round up the gang members. I like Blackwell's old tiny car. It's got a lot of character. Thank you. I'm dreadfully sorry. I haven't even asked your name. I'm Chase. Chase McCain. Uh, we've never met before. Chase McCain. Well, what a tiny world we live in. You know, I was only recently talking to an acquaintance of mine about you. About all the effort you went to in arresting Rex Fury. He doesn't think Chief Dunby did that? Oh, no. Some of us have a far clearer view of those events. Unmuddied by spin. Such a pity Rex got out again. Who knows what fiendish things he's up to. Yeah. So, who were those men back there? Environmental activists, no doubt. They don't care for me at all. Why don't they like you? You don't know. I thought everyone did. Simply an unfortunate misunderstanding that I have put completely behind me now. The main thing is, you're safe now. Yes. I must have a word with my security people. I quite like also that the car's called the Ancestor, that's pretty funny. Yeah, also, Chase, well, this is don't nice. use your real name twice in two different disguises with the same guy. Undercover 101. That was perhaps the dumbest Lovely thing day, he's done guy. in this game so far. He's given Blackwell his name twice as two different characters. We're here. Mr. Blackwell, ha! I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours? Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. Yeah, he's quite charming. I quite like him. But now we have a bunch of stuff we can do once we've unlocked this free one. That of course is Miles, so we'll be doing that later. <laughs> so 
So let's get some stuff picked up, first of all. I'm just going to get a few preliminary things out of the way, first of all. Police business. Because I have a few things in mind for this episode now. I was kind of having fun here. <laughs> now, here I'm actually getting the uh, green colour for my colour gun. Because I want it. Because there's something I want to get. And we're going to get it right now. This is perhaps going to be the biggest time saver in this entire LP. I'm sure, uh, since given what we've got, those of you who have played this game before know what I'm getting. Man on a mission. Let's take this train and go where we need to be. It's a cute little train. There we go, so let's head there now. Because this is something that's been a long time coming, something I've been looking forward to getting at least since the beginning of this game. Because it really is substantial with just how impressive this uh, thing we're getting is. Here we are in Uptown, exactly where we need to be. Sorry, it's an emergency. I wonder what's important about the green colour going in up down uptown rather. I wonder what we could possibly be doing with that. The toy shop seems interesting. Let's activate these. Head up here. I quite like climbing the toy shop, it's really cute. And I quite like the little rockets forming the little moving platforms, that's really adorable. <laughs> So here we are. And yeah, we also need the astronaut disguise here as well, which is appropriate for the whole rocket thing. It's almost like it's telling you to bring the astronaut costume here for this teleporter. It will take us all the way here for this red brick. Time Saver Alpha. Super Color Gun. With this upgrade, our color gun no longer needs to be changed ever again. Now, whatever we shoot a uh, colour gun object, it will just automatically make it the right colour. Which is amazing. Of course, I won't be using it here quite yet, because uh, using it here might break something. So I'm saving this thing for when I can actually naturally do it. But there are some other things here that I can pick up now. So this is what I could have got right at the beginning of the game, pretty much, because all you need is the burglar's outfit, but there's not really much point climbing the front of the police station. We also have a few other things we can do, though, now. First of all, now we have our astronaut costume, we have something we can do up here, once I've just grabbed a little bit of dynamite. Something tells me I want it. So yep, yeah, we're finally climbing this building that we've been seeing a while for a while from the, from the beginning of the game. Never really bothered coming up here before because you don't really have much of a reason to because as you can see there's a lot of stuff over there that we can't do yet. There's a lot of stuff around here that we can't quite do yet either but I'm kind of getting this now because it's very easy to forget that it's there. I quite like this little other... Uh, section of town. It's pretty fun, like, I like you climb these blocks kind of horizontally, mostly. It makes an interesting way of getting to the rooftops of these buildings. As opposed to just going straight up the sides of them. So here we go. Let's get around this corner. Onto that little ledge. I like the way a lot of these uh, interact. Now, over here is something that's really easy to miss. This little jumpy pad over here to get into this building over there. I actually kept forgetting that jumpy pad even existed. No. It's that easy to not see because it's hidden so well behind that 
blind corner. So here we are. A teleporter that is really, really hard to find if you don't know it's here. Finally, we can use this to get inside the cafe. And get this, it's been teasing us from the beginning of the game. I like the Clint Eastwood coffee addict joke that guy is named Shaky Harry, that's a cute reference. To both the movie and the whole coffee addiction thing. I quite like the names of a few of the uh, parody characters, they're uh, pretty uh, amusing. Now, while we ignore the story, trying desperately to get us back on track, we have a few things we can do with the colour gun as well, now that we have the super colour gun. I mean, so it doesn't really have much of an impact because everything here pretty much is red, but yeah. There's our character token from inside the shop, and yeah, now we know what this place is for. We can also break this box here. And complete the bride and groom in the window. Which gives us a, a good chunk of uh, super bricks, which is nice too. There we go. Now here I'm going to get kind of heavily editing because uh, some of the uh, things I'm looking for here can be a little obnoxious to find. But first let's head over here and screw up the platforming like an idiot. There we go. That was just ridiculous. <laughs> this, uh, this can be a little persnickety trying to get onto these things. They can be obnoxiously difficult sometimes, but there we go. And the flags in general can be a bit of a problem sometimes when you're trying to be precise, but there we are. Now we have George Fartar Bensonberry. I still like that joke, he's funny. And also, over here, we have something we can deal with over in this, near here as well, with the astronaut costume again. The astronaut costume and the super color gun are really versatile. They both have a lot of things that you can do with them. This is what I'm looking for here, the Lego City Bank. Security deposits. This can take us to the back of these buildings over here. When it finishes loading them. There we are. And in here we have Dave something. Man so generic he doesn't even have a last name. Just a businessman working at a bank. So over here there's something else we can deal with as well. This is stuff that's fairly easy to miss now because it's very small and requires the colour gun. These mailboxes are really difficult to find. They're kind of around the upper middle blocks in a kind of not really a circuit, but here's where the three of them are. In these little corners over here. Because yeah, it took forever to just wander around this entire district finding those three things, so I skipped that for you. But taking those out, release the character token at the top of that building. <gasps> Let's grab a car real quick. Using the old GTA method. Sorry, I've messed with the camera till one spawns. Head up the San Francisco Snake Way. I'm just calling Goku. Woo! And screw up parking the car. Oh, well, it wasn't ours anyway. So let's finally climb this building. You get a new capture token too. The mailman. Yeah. 
And now we come up here to this building again where we got the detective by at the beginning of the game. Up here, this is what we need the dynamite for. Because right at the top of this little tiny hill, right at the top of the big hill, we have something we can play with here too. Yep, let's finally blow up this silver statue as well. That's really satisfying. I quite like the explosions of studs that they form. That's quite a fun uh, visual, that is. But that's us done now for the day. So, we are now around 16%. So I'll see you next time as we uncover the next leg of the story now that we've saved Forrest Blackwell. I'll see you then. Goodbye.